Hi there Sagittarius, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 21st of March. This is a particularly significant week for you. Mars, which moved into your sign on the 9th of March, moves into contact with both the Sun and Mercury from Monday. Now the Sun and Mercury have moved into the most playful, self-expressive, go-getting, energised, charismatic part of your scope. And with Mars in your own sign, your sheer personality power can absolutely sparkle this week. What's not to like? This is an opportunity to really impress people. You've gone through a period that's been very much more introspective. It's not completely at an end. You still need to be protective of your emotional side to be much more in tune with your needs, the support structures in your life. But if you feel like being more playful, sociable, engaging with others, even being flirty, this is a week to go for it. But Saturn, the planet of structure, which has been creating some difficulties for you over the last year in, in, in the whole, well, that is going to be going into retrograde this week, and that's going to go on to the 12th of August. So you can't be too uh, cavalier in your approach. You still need to be pretty focused and disciplined about what's important, but Mars is going to give you a lot more oomph. And in general, that oomph is going to go on right through to September. There is going to be a retrograde and Saturn, uh, Mars, sorry, is going to go back into Scorpio for a period of time. But generally, you can have a lot of spark and fire in a way that most people don't get when Saturn moves through their sign. So this can help to push away some of the more limiting energies that Saturn has been imposing upon you. So this can be a week to breathe, to demonstrate just how talented you can be. But there is a lunar eclipse on Wednesday. What does this mean for you? Well, it's suggesting that your future plans are very much linked to being able to communicate and network with others. But the trick is not just in a sociable way, which you've got a gift for anyway. It's going to be much more in, t in terms of the sensitivities, the tiny details, the emotional observation, the nurturing side of life needs to work for you and the people that you're linking with. So make those people the center of your focus and then be playful around that and then uh, prioritize your friendships. I think that's what these two eclipses are saying to you for the next six months. You need to continue to be much more attuned to your deepest emotions, your deepest needs, and also those people around you. So the more caring and gentle you can be around those kind of issues, the more people are going to warm and respect you. Now, however, if you have got a business idea or a creative strand you really want to go for, this is an absolutely fantastic week to do it. And I do feel that your sex appeal is also going to be sparkling too. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.